what's up people it's your boy mm2k back again look um we have a special show lined up for you today in regards to some of the biggest topics of news coming this week we're going to be talking about the fallout from the layoffs and the xbox roller coaster we're going to be talking about project latitude and xbox's move to put more games on playstation um playstation's crazy fiscal year the new studio at activision blizzard what's going on with ubisoft all that stuff but right now i want to drop a weekly bundle of news on you that's going to go into our honorable mention section of the podcast all right so first let's talk about what's going on with the epic game store all right so here's what you're not going to want to miss epic game store is dropping dragon's age inquisition for free so definitely check that out get that free copy i already got mines all right you don't want to miss out on that because they're going to be doing some phenomenal drops and hey it's free 99 you can't beat that right but also i want to talk about this thing that's happening at uh in the gaming community with hip-hop gamer we dropped a video on it earlier where hip-hop gamer says that he has quote official microsoft gaming news and that they're helping sony with playstation 6 ai software features ai auto profiles and so much more and he says the full video is dropping next week and i know what xbox big franchise is coming to playstation you will not believe it but it is confirmed see y'all soon uh, let me do this i'm just gonna play the video for y'all and shut up and you know you can make up your own mind but let's do that right now Cheers! You rockin' with the gold of the game, hip hop gamer, hot nine seven, New York Stock Exchange, the six sixty fintech TV. I had to come home because y'all been wondering what I've been talking about when it comes to Xbox and all the little messages, right? One thing I can tell you before everything drops, because this episode is the episode you're going to want to see. But one thing I'm going to tell you right now is that Microsoft Gaming is assisting PlayStation 6 with AI software and AI development. So get ready. That partnership is real, it's happening, and there's a lot more you're going to find out that you're not going to believe. And go to the game, it's right here. Let's go. absolutely crazy stuff there y'all uh we're gonna be talking about that i want to get cold blood thoughts on it my initial thoughts i talked about it in, in the video this would be insane this would be a nuts this would be nuts if true my thoughts are look if there is such partnership microsoft did everything that they could to show playstation look we have disengaged and competing with you in any meaningful fashion let's be business partners let's eat at the same table a lot of people that are xbox enthusiasts especially that go tippity tap on twitter they're not gonna like that but that's the reality of the situation if this information is true but again i'm gonna ask cold blood to get his thoughts on how true he thinks this is and then you guys can too in the chat talk about how true you think this might be also also last but certainly not least there's this theme going around about playstation going to engage focusing more on engagements than they have that they are going to be focusing on unit sales right and i tried to tell you guys on this channel that the way that that was being portrayed in some places of the console war fanboy ethos is not accurate what am i talking about well let me bring you here okay um, this is an article from GameIndustry.biz. I really like this article. It says Sony's focus on engagement time over units sold makes sense for PlayStation. This is an opinion article. But here's some key things, some key facts in this opinion article that coincide with what we've been trying to tell you as far as how this shift really isn't new and it's being contorted and misconstrued by those with an agenda out there in the in the fanboy. Uh, arenas there it says here specifically during the results presentation where this information was highlighted sony senior v vice president naomi Mas masuka 
discussed the growth of operating income in the games and network services division, which houses PlayStation by mentioning a shift in internal strategic thinking away from unit sales and hardware tax rate and towards metrics of time spent on console and its service. But if you continue on, it's not like software unit sales aren't still important. The company reports those every quarter as one of the headline figures for the gaming division. But unit sales no longer capture the PlayStation business in its totality since there are now all sorts of people could, uh, the, all sorts of ways people could be interacting with PlayStation software and services without actually buying a game in the traditional sense. At some point, quite a few years ago, the company realized that it achieved better growth overall if it focused on that metric rather than just unit sales. This isn't new. It's just that it hasn't been focused on to quite the same extent in the company's financial results before now. Sony has essentially been thinking about its business like this since the PS4 era. To double down on what I've been telling you guys, this is one article from 2017 when this line of thinking started. It says Sony pushing for monthly active users as a primary metric for measuring success. So this internal thinking's already been there since 2017. And I know this for a fact because I reported on this. This is March 1st, 2018, when they made a strategic shift in their leadership. Things happened like uh, Kodora was put in the head of, of certain leadership. Responsibility at SIE was shifted from Sean Layton, who was the who was the head chair. He, it was being shifted with him between him and Jim Ryan before Jim Ryan ultimately took over. In this subsect of news that was being released, they talked about this shift from just unit sales to metrics like player engagement and monthly active users. And I remember there was big hoopla because I reported on it that, hey, PlayStation is trying to copy Sony because, I mean, or PlayStation is trying to copy Xbox because this was something that Xbox was pursuing prior, right? So again, this is not new news. If you read this article, which is a great article, they're telling you that what Sony is doing is they're now gonna be showing this metric more in their financial statements when they talk to their investors. So this is news more for the investor side. If you're not, if you don't have stocks in Sony or anything like that, this is a nothing burger as far as an update in news. This does not affect how they look at their overall metrics internally because again, as this cites, as we just showed you other articles from 2017 have showed you and then I can tell you when the big boom really started to happen internally, when they actually shifted their internal leadership to match these new metrics, this is not something new. Again, this is something that they've been focusing on a while, but then now they're going to show them in their financial statements, okay? We're gonna be talking about all this as I get Cold Blood's assessment on this, but again, this is just our honorable mentions. Like I said before, we're gonna be talking about the Xbox roller coaster. We're gonna be talking about the PlayStation dominance. And then in our game review section or publisher review section that we do in each show, we're gonna be looking through the microscope at Ubisoft. As you know, I've been very, very positive as far as Ubisoft as a publisher. I know a lot of people turn their nose at that, but what y'all don't look at on the periphery is that Ubisoft has a lot of players engaged in their titles. They just have these lofty financial goals that they cannot meet. And there are some things that they need to change to meet them, but this whole cancellation of the Division Heartlands, among other things, really got me looking at the company side-eyed. If you've seen my tweets, I'm like, I don't have a favorite publisher right now. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna get my assessment of what's going on and everything that Cold Blood thinks as well. Again, um, in a row podcast episode 61 is going to air or you're going to be connected to it if you're watching this as a vod but if you're watching this live right before the show you'll see our promo for our giveaway and then we're going to start the show right after that so thank you so much can't wait to see you until then have a wonderful gaming day peace